At Midwest Bus, they customize every contract. On this contract, there are 17 stations that each bus goes through. Each bus is at a station for two days. When a bus arrives, it gets a full inspection. This includes all the functional features of the bus, plus it is a visual inspection of the aesthetics of the bus. Then they bring the bus inside. Midwest Bus works on 17 buses at a time, that is one in each station. They start by doing some disassembly. They take various doors off, properly handling the Freon before removing the radiator cooler and fan system from above the engine. Every two days, the buses are rotated to the next station and a new set of tasks is begun. The second station the bus goes to is the power wash area. They lift the bus up and remove the fluids. Coolant and oil get stored until an environmentally friendly service takes it to be recycled and or disposed of properly. Some of the oil is recycled in-house, being used to help heat Midwest bus during cold weather. At this point, the muffler, engine, and various other components are removed. Then the bus gets a thorough power wash, removing loose undercoating, oil, and road buildup. From there, they bring the bus into the north side of the building and begin their major processing. There they do what they call final disassembly. They take the front and rear axle assemblies out of the bus. Also, air tanks and other underbody components are removed. Next, they fix any structural issues, including reinforcing weak areas and redesigning areas that were not designed well originally. Often, there are parts that are needed but are unavailable or need to be redesigned. So Midwest Bus has a parts fabrication area that custom makes parts as needed. There are several parts to the engine structure that get rebuilt, including the bus frame that holds the engine and the engine mount. At the same time, there are some other structural issues they deal with. Often, there are weaknesses and cracking in the retention of the shock to the body structure. They inspect and fix these issues. After that, they go into the underbody rebuild. A bus has many different air valves and air systems. All of that requires air tanks, hoses, valves, and different metering devices. The entire air system gets inspected, repaired, and replaced as appropriate to the situation. They recondition and paint the air tanks to protect them from the elements. In the meantime, inside the bus, they start working on some of the electrical systems. They inspect the entire system and replace switches and other parts as needed. They even change some of the functionality based on the client's needs. While that is happening, they inspect the wheelchair ramp. On an as-needed basis, this step can range from small adjustments to complete removal and rebuilding, including replacing or repairing the hydraulic motor if needed. They also replace any signage and lighting needed. At this point, they are starting the interior. The flooring is sometimes 100% replaced, and other times it is replaced as needed based on the incoming inspection. Some of the non-slip surface goes in, then the seats and the handrails are attached. As the finishing touches are applied, this old bus is beginning to look brand new. While all that is going on, the front and rear axle that have been removed are getting a complete overhaul. They are taken into a sub-assembly area where they are disassembled, cleaned, and rebuilt. As you can see, the brakes are rebuilt at this time. The engine has been disassembled and sent out to a factory authorized rebuilder. It is reassembled when it returns. Once the engine is reassembled and fully rebuilt, it is reinstalled into the bus.
Under the bus, the renewed transmission is then reinstalled with new fixtures and new lines. Now that the engine is back in place, it is time to do the installation of the front and rear axle assembly. Once properly installed, the wheels get aligned. The cooling system that was taken out in the beginning of the bus remanufacturing process has received a complete overhaul in a Midwest bus subassembly area. The area above the engine is rebuilt preparing it for the radiator fan assembly. This assembly weighs over 300 pounds so Midwest Bus has developed an installation rig to quickly and safely install these units. Once the radiator system is in, the rest of the remanufactured air conditioning is installed. Meanwhile, inside the bus, they are changing out the old fluorescent lighting with new energy-efficient LED lighting. Back outside the bus, they are tying together all the electrical systems, installing and testing all modifications and functions to prepare the bus to be restarted. This includes a complete overhaul to the fire suppression system. Once the bus is restarted and working properly, it is driven to an adjacent building where they lift it up and torque the suspension. The next step is to prepare the exterior of the bus for paint this step is a lot of sanding. The doors and panels that were taken off have been overhauled and are now put back on the bus. From there, the next step is going into one of Midwest Bus's three paint booths. There they tape and mask, do more sanding, and wipe it down before applying primer, primer surfacer, and up to five different colors of paint. They run two work shifts, and it takes two shifts, two days, to paint a bus. Then they bring the bus back to the south side of the factory. They put on the fenders, then sand and paint the roof with no-slip paint. At this point, the exterior assembly is in full swing. The door and window glass that had been taken out is now reinstalled in the reconditioned and repainted doors and windows. On an as-needed basis, the windshields are replaced. Also, on this contract, the destination sign was replaced, so the glass for the sign is reinstalled. They also install an anti-graffiti window film. Now they go through the interior of the bus. They install interior trim and fix any damaged areas. For buses that are not completely replacing the seats, it is at this point when they fix and bring the old seats up to new standards. They flush and charge the remanufactured air conditioning system with updated Freon, then thoroughly test the system to make sure the passengers have a cool ride. Outside the bus, they are putting on the bumpers and all the various trim. They are now doing the final electrical installation and tests. One of the final steps is the bus is fully inspected and any deficiencies found are listed and fixed in final repairs. The final step is called the final buy-off. The client's representative inspects and approves the fully remanufactured bus before it leaves Midwest Bus.